Thank you so much for taking the time to sit with us. I know you were in the middle of uh, working at the moment. Uh, so I just want to take a little bit of your time and ask a few questions. What made you want to paint? Um, initially, I think so of is the life. You yeah. Know? Uh, since I born, I, my first uh, memories that I painted was, you know, when I see my mom making cakes, and oh, cakes, and mixing cards with that, and all the things. And I was, you know, watching like that. And then and my older sister started to uh, painting a little bit. So, I always look in all of that, but I never get the brushes. So, by the age of 10, probably, I start to draw in something. And then I, I discovered that I can do it. You know? So, I start to draw, and, and everything was inspired for me. You know? Just for, I grew up in the mountains in Peru and the Andes. So, uh, the landscape was always beautiful. Memories come to my paintings, you know, the, the landscape that I paint is just memories I don't copy from nowhere. Wow. When did you leave Peru and when did you come to Highsville? Um, I leave Peru, but um, that was a whole, not just to come here. First. Yeah. I went to a lot of countries and then I came here in 98. So I start to, I, I came as a musician. Wow. Really the band, uh, really band. So it was for ten weeks, but I discovered that <laughs> this beautiful yeah. place to do things and everything, you know. And I discovered some art center in Alexandria, Turkey factory, and then I applied for that. And I, they said my work, and I start, I start to do. Wow. And I got the studio there, and I start to work. With them on it. Wow! And how do you how do you feel presently? Uh, about the artistic community in Hyattsville? Do you feel like it's uh, on the brink of getting better? Uh, do you feel like it needs work? What I see in Hyattsville, you know, I'm not here from uh, probably six years. Yeah. And what I see is uh, growing, the art is growing, you know, it's yeah. a lot of movement here, it's different associations working around, and you know, we are close to Mount Bernier, and so yeah. we have uh, all the corridor, you know, that's why they. They call it Korea. Yeah. Korea, you know, yeah, yeah. Here. yeah. So, that's nice. Yeah. I, I love this place. Yeah, I think that I think that I think it's been moving pretty fast too. I think over the last two or three years we added so much new um you know, newer additions to the community. Then they have the Pyramid in Atlantic yes. here now, which is really great. Um, have you had a chance of going there yet or not yet? Yeah, I went there to talk with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I know they were in, they used to be in Silver Spring, and so they're here now, so yes. they're a great organization. Um, what's the significance of the owl in your work? Because I look and I see the owl. Yeah, um, in my work I have different symbols. I use a lot of symbols. So uh, for me the owl means uh, wisdom, means uh, uh, mystery, knowledge. Yeah, I love that to put that as a as a representation of wisdom. Yes, sir. Um, what about the pieces you're currently working on now? Um, what inspired you to do this particular piece, and what were you thinking? This is a, I'm working on this piece. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about the name yet, but probably it could be the Sentinels or, okay. or the Guardian, something like that. Wow. That's, you know, about my llamas, always my alpacas, I, for me the alpacas is kind of llamas. Yeah. And I love them um, because they have a long hair, you know, like, <laughs> like me, you know, that's why I, I cover it. That. Yeah. I don't paint uh, eyes and not, not just the hair. Yeah. That, even though they have an expression on it, you know. Yeah. And this is more like, uh, you know, the, these constructions were here, I'm trying to put instead of a uh, roof, and try to do just the nature. Yeah. So it's just gonna be a little weird, but let's see what happens at the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> when you come to a piece like this, is it, do you already think about it before you come to start working, or do you come to work and then whatever's there is there? Both. Both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I, you know, I'm sketching, drawing something, and the idea is coming. Other times, 
I brought directly to the canvas, you know, the blank canvas, you start to do something. And yeah. Things coming, but um, both. But wow. I it works. Okay. Um, I noticed you were playing music when we got in. Is there a particular type of music that you have to listen to and to create or? Yeah, yeah, that was a reggae. Reggae, okay. Yeah, What's your favorite? Was, yeah, that's my favorite. You know, the reggae music, the roots reggae. Yeah. Uh, type of the, and it inspires the work? Yeah. What would you say one of your favorite? Because um, reggae has the positive message in the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And that's what I need to be peacefully and creative. What's your favorite uh, song, reggae song? Well, uh, you know, besides uh, Bob Marley, yeah, Master, of course. Uh, uh, Burning Spear, uh, Steel Bones, uh, I love them. Uh, okay. It's roots. Okay. Uh, roots reggae. Okay, and then other than that, I don't know, I know at the moment you've been showcasing from here in the gallery, yeah. right, at Renaissance. Um, how did it go? Did you have? I know you had a, a couple, uh, I guess, events where people could come through and, and look around. How, has it benefited you? What do you think about the entire process of having your work displayed here? Yeah, um, well, it works. Um, yeah. You know, just we just started, so we need to push a little yeah. more. It's gonna come. Yeah. Let's take a little while because it's like a highest build, you know, it's growing, growing, right. growing every year. So the same thing, you know, this is gonna work. What do you feel as far as the marketplace um, for art and do you feel like this area that people have a certain level of appreciation for it and you know as far as purchasing it, um, how do you feel? Well, like I said before, this is growing, you know, it's yeah. just started like two or three years ago yeah. and so uh, it takes a little while but people are coming, you know, visiting the gallery and, and you know, enjoying the when I'm working here. Yeah. So, and I can wait, you know, the, the weather changed to be outside, <laughs> painting outside. Because, uh, I love to paint outside, so that's, you know, people like to, to see me outside. Yeah. And they, they come to. And it's, not just, and it's not just and it's not just canvas work because I saw you also do apparel sometimes and oh, yeah. like uh, the jackets. I yeah, saw. I, I do designs on, on jackets and pants, you know, um, I try to be creative. Yeah. You know, always creating something. Yeah. Okay, well, last question. Um, what do you, I guess, overall think that, or you would prefer that people take from your work when they are looking at whether it's canvas work or whether it's even on apparel? What is it that you want them to take away from it when they see it, or what, how does it speak to them? Uh, you know, freedom and respect have to be first. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of and course. Then the other things come easily. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Okay, yeah. This is beautiful.